Welcome to the new River City Gamers Podcast, hosted by SCXCR and Well Unreal 007, as well as many other members from the River City Gamers website. Stay tuned for all the gaming news, new pickups, and everything else we feel like talking about on the River City Gamers Podcast. And welcome to the River City Gamers Podcast. I am SCXCR. I am Unreal. And coming straight from Texas, eating at a local Burger King, Angel Halo. Shadow Snake here. Shut up, you're not at Starbucks. You're not hipster. You don't go to food and go, you know, I'm going to record my two hour long podcast in this burger joint. <laughs> Wi Fi, and then, oh shit, my net just dropped. I- <laughs> God forbid if that happened. I might just cut this entire conversation. Let's just go into gaming news. The gaming news! So unreal. Okay, um, gonna rewind a few days, actually. You guys are probably already aware of this because I told you, uh, well, I told you guys this. Mainly because it takes place in my home state of Connecticut. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, not my town. It's about. Um, Southington, Connecticut, where they, where this one group decided to go ahead and was planning to collect and destroy violent video games as a response to the, sh- the school shooting that happened on my birthday in Connecticut, which was last December. I would say along, I would say something along the lines that parents need to talk to their children, but that's too typical of a response. So I'll just quote from this uh, woman who did a news story on this one on her own YouTube channel. Just say, because parents can't grow a spine to tell their children that violence is bad. Fuck you, Dig Dug. You killed my baby. <laughs> Tetris, you killed all of my lines. Fuck you, Mortal Kombat. You slaughtered everyone. Oh, come on, that's a typical example. That. Well, Kamen was the one that fucking started the rating system. Oh, come on, guys. You know, you know, we've been dancing around the most violent video game of all time the Madden series. I mean, people tackle the shit out of each other all the time. They break bones. Oh, it, it gets pretty hectic, and no one prosecutes them. Actually, the most violent video game I played ever was Professor Layton. Little Big Planet's violent. I mean, you explode, get set on fire. All of those pale. To Kirby's Avalanche. Oh, oh my. Oh. <laughs> I've never those played that Those colored blobs game. have families! Uh, I've never played that video game. But still, well, what of oh Dr. Robonix's Moon Bean Machine? It's the same thing, isn't it? Okay, They're we can just keep this going a, forever. A Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, honest thoughts on this thing. All I say is, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, did book burning teach nothing? Because that's basically what this is, but video games. Essentially, they're never going to learn their lesson with this. They think that they're just trying to, like, find excuses to blame video games for all of society's problems. But I think, uh, to quote uh, Tom Dog on this, there's a lot more wrong with society than meets the eye. I'm not sure if you said that directly, but... I think you put. I think you worded it best in this video. Well, uh, actually, I'm going to quote of all people Triple H when he appeared on the Drew Carey show, and he simply said, "You're kind of an idiot, aren't you?" <laughs> that that's just how I react to things like this. Yeah. But then again, this isn't the first time we've heard of something like this. It's like. Yeah, this is an just, ongoing thing. They just never learn. But Be- between this. And the Native American mascots for sports teams being offensive. It just pinballs back and forth. Oh, yeah. It, it also doesn't help that not only is um, this, like, gonna, like, take place in the state I live in. Um, I remember, like, a few podcasts ago, I mentioned that I got games from this place, this other gaming place I found out about from my brother. That, I, if I remember correctly, was also in Southington. So I was like worried about the store itself. It it honestly just hearing about that makes me kind of ashamed. Like really, I'm living in this state. Thank God I don't live in the town because if I lived in Southington, people probably would have just bombarded into my 
fucking room and stole every violent game I own, which is quite a bit. Because that's a huge chunk of the gaming market nowadays. Kind of like baffles me why they're even doing this when it's uh, when the violent video games is pretty much a majority of the market now. That's all I gotta say about that. And uh, even then, apparently no one's paid attention to all those statistics. Uh, uh, without going into too much detail, uh, the more violent video games we have, less crime and stuff like that. The way I interpret it, it's like you get to see these horrific actions done in the game, and you're like. Whoa, I never want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, all the stuff we want to do that we cannot do, we just do it in video games. We're not going to do it out in public. I mean, we're not yeah. stupid. Yeah, like we're totally going to activate a nuclear bomb in Fallout 3 and eradicate an entire... Like we're totally going to rob a bank because we played Payday the Heist. And we're totally going to go around pressing the F key to civilians. <laughs> Well, maybe just for you guys, but I go out in public and turn into a wolfman all the time. Well, in conventions. <laughs> but uh, can we get to the second part of this story? Yeah, yes. Southington, Connecticut cancels the game destruction plans. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, the best part. Wait, wait. So what was the point of us talking about earlier? So uh, just I, I just wanted to surprise this. you that they fucking canceled this. I just wanted to, like, uh, inform you that this was going to happen, but then um, they canceled it. But that it doesn't end there. Uh, their explanation is... Oh, my God. You're, you're going to hate this. Let me, let me read uh, the quote that the spokesman said. <clears throat> we succeeded in our program. By canceling it? I'm not done. Okay, we succeeded in our program. Our mission was to create strong awareness in Southington for parents and families and citizens and children. And we accomplished that. Our other objective was to promote discussion of violent video games and media with children with the families at the home. And we've accomplished that in spades. So, we deemed it became unnecessary to have the physical return on Saturday of violent games. Also because it would create an unnecessary amount of logistical details for us. So, they're pretty much canceling it due to the fucking backlash, but say, oh, we still win because, uh, you know, we got awareness. Right. Congratulations. You created awareness to a thing people were already well aware of. Congratulations. You just took the chicken shit way out of your own cause. It's just a way of cowering now. You just didn't want to admit that this whole campaign of yours was going to be so faulty. This is the five-year-old who makes up his own rules of tag so that he can win every time. I think even a ten-year-old would be all like, that was just pathetic. That's, uh, that, that's all I have for that story. It's just, it's canceled now, and their reasons are retarded for claiming as a victory. That's all I got on my end, Scott. I'm passing the torch to you. Well, I only really have one thing to discuss news-wise. And that is... The Sonic fan film. <laughs> I uh, have did this come? I, I forget, did it come out yesterday? Or uh, it come either yesterday or the day before. By the way, we're recording this podcast on a Friday, which explains any sort of, like, time discrepancies from when this is actually posted. I wish Foffy was here. The Sonic fan film was posted. It was made by Eddie LeBron, the same guy who did the Mega Man fan film. Oh. And back and uh, response to this has been heavily mixed. I have seen it, but mind if I ha mind if I say my sense on it? I'll go last. Just uh, everyone else, go ahead. Okay. To start things off, um, I the idea was I know what they were trying to go for. They were trying to go for a serious tone it's like it's like what if like hollywood were to make like a serious like live action film of sonic by you know gearing it towards an older audience but as as interesting as this sound the, the only thing that just threw me off was the uh was the way the cgi looked in a way like it's not because it just the realistic look to it which that's okay yes it's part of the reason why it looked kind of bit iffy but um is it also kind of harsh for me to say that the voice just felt kind of out of place? In a way? The voice for who? 
Sonic, or Sonic, I should say. Yeah, um, Jaleel White actually voices uh, Sonic in the fan film, and he voiced uh, the Sonic in uh, the cartoons, which... Did he do all three? Yes, he did. Yeah. All he did, right. like, all three of the television show um, Sonics. He did... I'll, I'll just name him right now. Sonic Underground, Sat AM, and uh, Adventures in Sonic Hedgehog. Uh, if I may if I may ask, uh, you said that this is supposed to be, like, a what if it was a serious movie kind of thing? I don't even so, know what it's supposed to be. Because doesn't it... It that does sound pretty iffy to cast someone who makes Sonic sound. It's kind of hard to put it. it. It's like putting Bugs Bunny and Die Hard. I only got the like half the seriousness mix. To me, the all all the seriousness again? was just on the end of the humans. Everyone else in the film was not taking this seriously at all. Like yeah. even if you didn't have Jaleel White voicing him, just what Sonic says, not serious at all. Yeah, I I just wanna I, I just wanna explain. If you want my reaction to it, it's like well, everything was just like humans and stuff and um and crap until and I was like I was I was like okay, just looking at it, going like oh whatever. And then Sonic comes on. So what happens as soon as Sonic appears? I see what he looks like. I see his face, and I hear. The terrible cheesy line that Jaleel White says. What happens soon after, I go into a fit of fucking laughter so bad that I blacked out. I'm not making this up. I yeah, I was there for that. That coughing. actually happened. I blacked out from laughing. I don't think that's ever happened to me for the longest time. Uh, Too Long didn't read... Um, I didn't like it. But let's just say I wasn't too big on it either. It's not the worst thing I've seen, but... Okay, but I'll give the movie credit for at least trying, but due to the amount of times that I just burst out laughing at the uh, character model and... Uh, mainly just the character model and, like, some, some of the acting, really, I, I just wasn't too big on it either. But trust me, I've seen worse. That's all I have to say. Angel, anything to add on this? Um, I haven't really saw the whole thing myself. I will say that I did hear some opinions that some people were turned off because of cameos where they had no point. And I'm thinking, isn't that kind of the point of a cameo? Just to put, the, put someone there for the sake of putting someone there? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I can, I can understand people don't like it. I haven't seen it myself, so I can't say if I do or don't. But I just find it kind of weird that some people would just be turned off immediately just because of Cameo. The Cameos didn't really turn me off. It was just like the character himself, Sonic. It's just some of the details that some people tend to focus on kind of irk me. Yeah. But ignoring that, I'll still have to say it myself to really give an opinion on it. I'll let you know that in a couple months. <laughs> it's only 18 minutes long. I know, I know. But that's all I have to say right now. I will say that the Mega Man fan, fan film was awesome, though. Yeah, I, I like that. I mean, I actually... I'll say this honestly. I actually preferred the Mega Man fan film over this. There's a reason for that, actually. I don't know if you guys want to say anything else, but... You, you can go on ahead. All right, I have a few key points I want to hit on for this, and I'm debating where I should begin. I think uh, where I might as well start off is uh, with the serious tone and its inconsistencies. Do you really want a serious Sonic? I don't think we all do. No, no one does. That's why he wasn't like that. You get a serious Sonic, you get Sandico 6, boom, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic is simply not that kind of character. The other thing I want to hit on that almost everyone seems to be ignoring when it comes to judging this is that this is not a fully produced film. 
It even says right in the title that it's a spec film, which I guess a lot of people don't really know what that means. A spec film is something that you only make as... It's like a rough draft in, uh, in film form. It's something that you make so that something larger and more elaborate can be made down the line. That is not what the Mega Man fan film was. That was a full-fledged production. This is nowhere near that. And so I think people... it's still people... a work in progress, right? Sorry? So it's like still wor it's still a work in progress. Yes. Heavily a work in progress. Because you could even tell in some of the films, like, the CG wasn't entirely created. Like, it wasn't interacting with uh, the real-world sections at all. And that might be another reason that there were so many cameos, is because they knew, well, this is just a rough draft. It would, it would not be cost-effective to audition people, bring in, like, legit actors, and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing something like that. I mean, some games usually release beta, so if this is like the way of showing a rough draft just to see, like, get a, like, a critical response or see how people are reacting, I guess, no harm done, I guess. Because what they can probably do with this, they could actually, you know, take some of the, you know, criticisms to heart and actually approve upon it. Yeah. But like it, but like you said, SCR, this isn't the whole, th this is the real thing. Yeah, because I, even I figured this wasn't, this wasn't all over because this is like 18 minutes long. So it's like, this is, this is a, this is just like some sort of rough draft or whatever. But ultimately, from what I saw from this rough draft, um, I'm a bit iffy towards it, but it has, but it can be improved. It can be improved. I just think that anytime you have, like something like Sonic the Hedgehog and that kind of series, and you try to adapt it to a real world settings, there is going to be conflict over any kind of inconsistency or any kind of style change from what the series is traditionally. Like okay, I know but... some people who absolutely hated uh, the way that. Dr. Robotnik is portrayed in this, but frankly, I'm glad that he doesn't have four giant nipples on his suit anymore. <laughs> I'm okay with him not having a mustache that's wider than his shoulders. I can live with that. I can live with that. I can live with that too. But it's like no matter what, like when the full fan film is like released, there's still gonna be some controversial arguments towards this, regardless of how you look at it. Ever since Sonic has been gone, like, this goes, like, way back. There's always been arguments within each Sonic game. It's not something black and white, really. Some people, like, see it at one angle, some people see it in a different angle, some people see it in this angle, it goes on and on and on. And then you have the Sonic fans who make their own recolors, cre uh, <laughs> they, like... Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> original character, do not steal. And then you got the Sonic fans who, like, make original characters put them in diapers. I don't even know what the hell that is. And we got the explicit mm. stuff, which we'll, we'll not get into. Well, you'll get that kind of stuff with, like, almost any fan base, but... Yeah, but... With... Diapers? What the hell is wrong with you? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, Sonic fan film... It can be improved. Don't consider it a full film. But it can be improved. So what's up next? Uh, what's up next is the end of gaming news, because that's pretty much all we wanted to cover with this. <clears throat> and uh, now we're going to take a look at uh, some games that are coming up down the line. Most notably, coming out in about a week and a half, Nino Kuni. I'm getting that day one. Same here. I hope my PlayStation oh, wait, 3 is plugged in by then. I'm procrastinating so much with that. Anyway. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I procrastinate a lot. Okay, I'm sorry. You had that PS3 since November, was it? Uh, end of November. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've had other things I've been doing, so... Like, I'm kind of neglectful of that. Well, I don't blame you. You had Zombie you. I've been neglectful in trying that out, so sue me. <laughs> anyway, moving on, uh, 3DS, we have Fire Emblem Awakening. Getting that. 
Never played a Fire Emblem game, but I'll be sure to check that out. I still don't have anything with a DS in the name, but when <laughs> I do, oh, when I do. Moving ahead a little, we got Dead Space 3 coming up uh, near the beginning of February. Still not sure how I feel about that. Um, I do have some minor details about that. Um, apparently, from what I understand, while there is a co-op mode, I think if you play single player, you won't have a co-op partner, period. But if you do play co-op, um, of course you'll have the partner, but it also expands the storyline a little and changes the gameplay a little too. Not to elaborate on this too much, but basically single player is more like classic Dead Space, while multiplayer is more like action. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Let's just move on before I start ranting. Uh, Next. Middle of February, we've got uh, Alien Colonial Marines, 360 PS3 PC. There's also the Wii U version. Yeah, but... Uh, I'm not too big on it. Nothing against the game, just lack of interest. Um, isn't that supposed to be like the true sequel to Aliens? I have no Trauma. idea, because I've never paid attention to the Alien series. I, I haven't watched it either. This is more of Long Guy Gamer's territory. Yeah, he would know. Uh... Anyway, later February, around the 19th, if this date is accurate, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. The only reason I'm playing that is because Platinum Games is making it. I may skip it. I don't blame you. Well, because I'm such a sucker for Metal Gear, I guess I'm going to have to play it. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4! <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> no, we're not. But uh, last that game I'm going to name, uh, end of February, Rayman Legends. I'm Ooh. getting that day one. Oh, man, I Castle remember Rock that. Just, Castle Rock <clears throat> sold me. Castle Rock sold me. Yeah, uh, about that. Um, it was a couple weeks ago when I had both uh, Shadow Snake and Sasuna Raven over to my house. I had downloaded the Rayman Legends demo. And we played three-player co-op. <laughs> it was so fun to play. Castle Rock, especially. Yes. Platformer mixed with rhythm. <laughs> I love that. Also, it was basically, I, it was like basically like a remix of Black Betty. Well, Black Betty. But that's all you gotta say. Yeah. It was so much fun. I think that's about it for upcoming games. I don't want to go too far down the line to this. Otherwise... You know, A, it drags on too long, and B, what we talk about in the next podcast. Uh, exactly. Anyway. If I may talk about an upcoming release. Now, I've heard about a month ago that... Now, this is Steam-related. After releasing the big picture, which is basically if you plug your PC into a TV, uh, you'll have a whole interface, which all you need is a controller. You can still use your keyboard and mouse, but it's mainly designed to be used with a controller. And there was actually a sale for games that are compatible with the controller that time. Uh, because of the large success of that, it came as a surprise to Valve, but because of that, they revealed details about the Steam box, codenamed Bigfoot. As far as I know, there's got to be three different models. The good model for those who who want to make it affordable, the better model, and the best model, which is supposedly more powerful, and is supposed to be as powerful as a traditional modern-day gaming console, and more akin to a high-end computer. It's going to have Linux uh, loaded into it, but you can install Windows on it, which is good, because so far, Steam is already in beta for Linux. I've actually spent the entire day today trying to get Linux to work on my computers to no success, somehow. But as far as I know, there's only over 40 games supported on it. But the fact that you can still install Windows on it means you can still play those thousands of games you probably have on your computer right now. It's said to be released in the first quarter of this year. Um, I'm hearing it might be competing directly with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720 when they come out. That's pretty much all I have to say about the Steam box, unless you want me to let you know about how Game Duel hates Windows 8. And unfortunately, I have a laptop with Windows 8. But uh, let's not get much into that. That's all I have. Okay, I kind of blacked out about halfway into your explanation, so let's just move on. 
I believe that brings us to recent pickups, which okay. actually have a couple of shells on my desk with a thing under them, and each one represents one of you. Shadow, you go first. I think, I know there's more, but I'm just going to say four, some, <clears throat> some of them, which is, uh, let's see, all of them are PS3 games. Let's see. Because I never collected all the Assassin's Creed games, I went ahead and got Assassin's Creed Ezio Trilogy, which includes Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. And because I like you streaming this game so much, WWE 13 on PS3. <laughs> Let's see. And uh, because I liked playing the Rayman Legends demo on the Wii U, Rayman Origins, might as well. And because I wanted to, you know, an, ac an action beat em up online, and, you know, occasionally play with friends, Anarchy Reigns. And I played like like an hour of this in the campaign, and what I, it's actually pretty enjoyable. Those are all my pickups. <clears throat> but I might as well follow you, because I also got Anarchy Reigns on the PS3. I haven't actually touched it yet. But I do you need to. I do plan to get to it. You haven't even touched the PS3 yet. <laughs> actually, I just remembered I did plug it in. I just haven't actually <laughs> turned it, it on yet. <laughs> plugged it in, you never it's messed with it. In. <clears throat> this is a very gradual process, okay? It takes time. Next, next thing you know, he'll put a game in by next year. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play PlayStation 3, Part 12. <laughs> uh, Part 12 of 87. What game is this in the conversation? <laughs> so game? Be the last we haven't gotten that far yet. So what be, would be in the last part of the LP? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Uh, as far as console games, the only other thing I've really gotten recently... Uh, I know I mentioned Phoenix 3 in the last broadcast. Uh, oh, I do sorry. have one other 3DO game I got, which I wasn't going to say it until a stream, but I might as well say it here. It's a 3DO game called Virtuoso. Virtuoso? What the f- I will say no further on that. But uh, uh. there are a couple of games on Steam that were actually gifted to me. One of them was Payday the Heist. Thanks, Angel. You're Thanks, Angel, for that for my copy too. You're welcome. And uh, the other one I got, which I haven't actually gotten around to trying yet, is Dota 2. Oh yeah! Thanks, Angel, for binding of the binding of Isaac. You're welcome. That about does it for me. So, Angel, how about you? Um, let's see. The only game I've picked up recently on Steam was a. Uh, Sleeping Dogs trademark. <laughs> it's the only game in my library that has a trademark on it. Like, Suck it down, trademark. Yeah, we. Yeah, I really need to know who owns the rights to this. Um, but anyway, the only reason I got it on Steam was because at the end of the Steam sale, there was a glitch that got the game down to ninety-one percent off. So, <laughs> and, so sixty dollars regular price. One of the more recently released games, suddenly it's four ninety five, I think, or five hundred one. I'm sorry, exactly five hundred one. So I picked it up immediately before they fixed the error. But I I've had Payday to Heist for quite a while, but I did recently pick up DLC for it, the Wolfpack DLC, which <clears throat> excuse me includes two two levels and a new skill tree. Um, trying to remember the name of it. Um, tech, technician, which is a combination of the first three uh, skill trees, which basically includes a grenade launcher, a fully automatic pistol, an AK-47, and you can also use sentry guns. It becomes very helpful. Hopefully, hopefully we'll play the game long enough for me to demonstrate that to the two of you. There is Sentry one more turret in a fucking bank simulator heist. <laughs> yes, cheater. <laughs> <laughs> there is a uh, one game I was hoping to stream this, but because uh, I'm like 
but because I've uh, given my dazzle over to Shadow Snake, um, I'll just go ahead. fucking dazzle Shadow. I'll, I'll just I'll just say this right now. Uh, I bought this during the Fight Night event at Game Over Video Games down at San Antonio, Texas. Oh, um, God. Okay, short story on this one. They have Fight Night. You can put whatever games you want. So I went over there, brought my Sega Saturn, decided to hide, like, sneakingly buy a game. And then I then I showed it to Alex and t- uh, Shadow Snake. I'm sorry. Showed it to Shadow Snake. And I was like, surprise, you just fell head first into Rise of the Robots 2 Resurrection. Shizuna refused to play that the second you showed him that. <laughs> He's like, you nope. Guys, you guys should have heard their reactions. And the game was as good as you'd think. It's uh, not. <laughs> Sun Tzu, I, the Otto Vort. I'll, I'll have to stream this someday to give you a better idea, but I will mention this. The game doesn't even feel finished. There's one character. Everyone has a standing animation. But there's one character that just stands frozen. And when he moves, he has this sprinting animation that goes as fast as walking. It's very awkward. But that's about it. All right. Unreal, you have to follow that. Am I like the only... I always seem to go last on this shit. It's like, you guys are expecting build up for me to say, well, I bought a 3DO or something. I don't know. Um, no, I, I expected you to say Philip CDI. No. Why? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to recall if I mentioned certain games in a previous podcast or not. This was around the time I had to get my laptop repaired. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, though. So I'm going to skip those games and instead focus on uh, four that I got recently. Okay, I ended up uh, in another GameStop binge using the gift card I got for Christmas. $35 gift card. Um, I ended up and I ended up buying a Fear 2 Project Origin which I played and beaten before. I just wanted to own it. And uh, This is a weird pick for me. Call of Duty 3. Hmm. Featuring dumb AI and fucking amazing physics and driving <laughs> things. <laughs> Well, oh, and wrestling. um, then there's the Nazi wrestling. <laughs> yes. I don't even know why that was considered a feature in the game. Like, what was it supposed to do? Uh, if I had mentioned, uh, do you recall the commercials for the Wii version of the game? No. <laughs> Basically, they ended the commercial showing that you can use a Wiimote and Nunchuck to Nazi wrestle as well. And... Scott, I know you told the story about your friend playing the Wii version and tried to drive. Or, no, was it the wrestling? That he it mentioned? was the wrestling part. <laughs> he got How stuck that on that go? part because he would try to do the animation at the end of the part where you push the Nazi off and you, like, smack them with your gun, but he couldn't get it to register, so he wound up wrestling the Nazi for a good four or five minutes. <laughs> And I fake demonstrated the fucking endless wrestling too. Like when you guys saw the stream, remember that? Just to go back and forth, back and forth. I don't know. I don't want to say much about the game. <clears throat> like years ago, I played it and beaten it, but <laughs> I, I don't remember a lot of ridiculous stuff like I described. Like I remember the driving and Nazi wrestling. I don't remember the dancing AI and the. <laughs> And the, just the <laughs> retarded physics of punching a Nazi so he gets flying across the room. Uh, then, uh, here's one that I've all kind of wanted to get for a while, but always neglected. Um, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Oh, yeah. I, I've owned the GameCube version ever since it came out. And I've never gotten to uh, try out the extra shit that was added in, like, later versions. So I picked up the Wii version, and I'm just... I'm happy with it. It's basically RE4, but with a surprisingly good alternative control scheme. And there's one more... uh... And an incredibly easy shooting gallery. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. The Wii version makes the shooting gallery a fucking joke. It's so (laughs) good. Like, like, I blazed through it, and 
Funny story, um, GameCube version, I didn't get all the bo bottle caps because I didn't bother. Wii version, uh, first playthrough, all bottle caps obtained, like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's one more game that I ordered from Gamefly. With probably one of the dumbest titles I've heard since Driver 3. For three -er. <laughs> Do you now have the entire full fear series like me? Oh, yeah, you, and it's you got the distant cousin of me, SCR, F3R. <laughs> F3AR. I, I don't want to talk about the game. I've beaten it. I don't want to talk about it. I, I guess again. because of Just... the way you reacted to the final boss. <sighs> There's more to it than what I told you. The title yeah. is a good start, but... <laughs> you should do a review on it because of how it made you if, react. If I'm gonna do a review on it, I gotta start with the... And you know my timely manner. Don't expect that for like 20 years. <laughs> That's all the games I got. Um, I just realized I neglected a couple of games. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. Oh yeah, I, uh, I realized I forgot. I bought Dogs <clears throat> for PSP. Oh yeah, I got that too. I probably should have brought that for Fight Night. Yeah. But anyway, um, I did get Duke Nukem 1 and 2 from Good Old Games recently. <coughs> I haven't bothered to play it yet, but it's Duke Nukem 1 and 2. Side-scrollers. Before before Duke Nukem was all like, I'm going to chew bubblegum and kick ass out of all bubblegum. Um, he's collecting teddy bears. And not wanting to miss a sing single episode of Oprah. I also got this is actually a free game. Uh, Warso, Warso, I think is what it's pronounced, has a O in the middle. Um, it's a freeware first-person shooter uh, arena style, and I'm not very thrilled to play it. Um, at least it was free though. Um, and this one I got on Impulse, uh, thirteen. The FPS called 13. Good for you. Uh, Have fun uh, not getting past the fourth level. The only reason I bought this game was honestly because uh, Good Old Games said they're not going to be uh, allowing this game to be purchased anymore. It's going to be removed from their catalog. And this was announced on December 29th, so I just picked it up as soon as I could. It was three bucks anyway. That was kind of like, you know, this one situation where... Um... It, it was like a long time ago where I bought this game called Fate Unlimited Coast for PSP where it was a fighting game published by Capcom but they lost the license to the Fate Stay Night franchise so they couldn't sell it anymore so they were gonna like have a good buy sale and take the, take it off from the you know from the servers so yeah yeah that happens unfortunately yeah but <clears throat> I have the game I, I guess you have to find a game used that oh wait a minute it's download only on PSP. Oh. <laughs> yeah, digital distribution problems. 101. <laughs> well, to be... Well, I'm actually kind of... Now that I look about look at things, it's probably for the better because I don't think I could trust Capcom with any type Moon franchise. Strip out of X second. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've been on this long enough. Well, as wow. a change of pace for the discussion topic, instead of focusing on, like, the more negative effects of gaming, like, say, those idiots in Southington, Connecticut, yep. let's focus on something a little more positive that's gaming-related. Like, for example, as of this recording, it'll be over by the time this podcast happens, but, uh, well, by or the time it gets posted, I mean. There is a, a stream going on to raise cancer for, to raise cancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm cutting that one and putting it at the end. <laughs> there is a stream going on right now uh, to Wait, raise money no. for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, which is called Awesome Games Done Quick. It's being put on by a couple of people from Speed Demos Archive and uh, Speed Runs Online. I can't remember the name of the other place that does it. But uh, anyway, as of right now, they have raised... Over three hundred thousand dollars for cancer research, and they're they're still not done. Their initial goal was actually a hundred thousand. They met that in like two days. They upped it to two hundred fifty thousand. 
they met that like earlier today and now they now they just said like screw it forget this goal thing we're just gonna raise whatever we can and it's not like this is a new thing they've actually been doing this for the past few years they have this one that they do in winter and they also have another that i think they do in the summer and apparently every time they've done it they've been pretty successful in doing it um <laughs> This is kind of a running gag going on in there, I would say. Uh, the Die Hard playthroughs. They've had, like, what, five runs? Five runs. I think the fifth one's tonight. Or yeah, is it that, six? As a recording, not like when. Yes. Uh, the, the fourth run, they finally had someone beat it, but it didn't break the world record. Uh, but the past four... But the four runs before, oh man. Um, I know the I know the first run was when he was right there at the last guy and he got killed. Yeah, and, that's happened way too much. It's always get to the last guy, then something bad happens. Yes, and the second time the guy got flashbanged while dealing with the remaining enemies and got killed. Then those freaking flashbangs. Um, the third one, he actually had a good amount of health and got to the final guy. Then time ran out. Even though the main bad guy was there, he escaped anyway. Uh, you're too late, Miss John McLean. Um, was it the fourth or fifth one that was when they won? You uh, said the fourth four. one, when they had two players race each other. Yes. That's when they finally did it, but one other guy died in the process. Cosmo died. Oh. The Die Hard did become a running gag thing for the whole week, and it's been great. <laughs> Die Hard. But I dead. do have a personal few favorites. Uh, oh, like, out of the runs, I have a few personal favorites. One of them... Uh, I'm trying to think of a few, aside from the one I definitely know. Um... I mean, I, I like the GoldenEye ro run, where he uh, managed to beat Double O Agent and unlock all of the cheats in under the estimate time, which I can't recall right now. The I think it was definitely was under. It was under an hour forty-five, I think. It was hour and a half as estimate. Yeah, he did it in one twenty forty-seven. Yes. And that's that was a good run. Uh, what else was there? I, 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 I really can't think of a lot of uh, other runs, but one I definitely do remember, the one that fucking broke my mind, was the F-Zero GX Very Hard Speed Run. Oh. oh. This guy is unfucking believable yeah, <laughs> He completed Very Hard Mode in twenty, just over 26 minutes. <laughs> All of that. God of Tekken, watch out. We got God of F-Zero GX. Like, did you say that was... Did you say that was, like, the hardest game you've ever played? I'll, I'll, I'll say right now, F-Zero GX is the game that turned me into the fucking bitter piece of shit I am today. F -Zero I've GX. never raged as hard as a game as I did it until that game. You know, when you hear very hard in any other game, you don't take it that seriously. F-Zero GX Very Hard is like the only game where it says, oh yeah, yeah, this is very hard. We're just going to punch you in the nuts over and over and over. It's also sad that freaking both normal and regular hard are still ball busting. So, quite frankly, all three difficulties should be called Very Hard, Very Very Hard, and Fuck You Gods Only. I remember that there was like this one uh, picture that you made that just basically described the difficulty curve. On I made a fucking paint. chart, and it was the, the worst drawn curve, chart. It's a difficulty cliff. It, no, it's a freaking <laughs> difficulty chasm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There were other runs that I uh, stood by to watch. Um, do you have any other runs you liked? Metroid Prime. Uh, oh yeah, I like I like the prime runs. That was one I forgot. I'll just name off a few that kind of impressed me. Uh, the Banjo Kazooie run, two and a half <laughs> hours, and that was a hundred percent. So he got all the puzzle pieces in the shed. 
Oh my. My favorite was the Dark Souls one. <laughs> the Dark Souls one, pretty impressive too. Yeah, that was, I think that, oh, oh, I know one of my favorite ones now if I don't mind interrupting. It's probably everyone's favorite. Awful games done quick, Sanic 06. <laughs> uh, that was a glitch fest. And it was amazing too. I still need to watch the archive. I have a couple that I was really impressed by. One of them was Super Meat Boy. Oh, yeah. I missed that one. I, I've never seen someone die so little in that game. Uh, he was psychedelic eyeball. I have... Like, quite a bit, but he was, you know, fucking depressing. I have so much to say about the levels that involved the kid. And that guy, this guy just shows the fuck up. It just... Let me put it like this. The level kept kicking me in the face. And this guy just sneaks behind the kids' levels and just suplexes it. Yeah, the speedrunner named Breakdown. One hour, 47 minutes, 36 seconds on the Xbox Live Arcade version goes 106% and completes the expert remix levels. And the best part is, he does this as the Super Meat Boy development team is in a Skype call watching him do it. Oh, man. That ha what, did the, what did the dev team say? What did they do? They were humbled. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I bet they were like, okay, uh, right, we're going to fucking donate like $100,000. Did, did they donate? I believe they did, yes. I wonder how much they did. They donated, uh, Notch donated like a few thousand dollars. <laughs> Notch always donates his vacation money. So. And who's that guy from G4 that donated? Kevin Pereira fucking donated. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. Or just like some other guy named Kevin Pere Pereira. But no, Kevin Pereira, formerly of G4 fame. Like, if you knew G4, you probably knew who he was. He was the host of Attack of the Show. He actually donated. And I think the Twitch chat was like going nuts about that. Like, Kevin Pereira, why, what? Next thing you know, Adam Sessler donates, which, no, but... Oh, I wish. Should I uh, also mention? Did I also mention the Shadow of the Hedgehog speed run? <laughs> that was uh, a fucking broken one. Too. Wait, you mean like the GBA one? The sh no, there is no Shadow of the Hedgehog game on. Oh, Shadow of the Hedgehog. I thought you said Sonic. No, I streamed that piece of shit. No, no. forget it. Shadow, me. Shadow. The other game you don't want to be reminded of. Yeah, the, the, the guy, the way the guy speed run through it, he basically just broke the game by going to the checkpoints, you know, just by having like the checkpoint like pause option or whatever. I should, I forgot what how to call it, but basically had that on, and he basically did chaos control throughout the whole entire levels, infinitely, and he managed to like get it to stop, so he can like you know go to certain points because sometimes like the chaos control can go past like the the goal range, but the way he did it. I was like, God damn it. He even beat the thing in less than 20 minutes. Like a whole, like a single run in 20 minutes, in less than 20 minutes. Yeah, I have it right here. Shadow the Hedgehog completed in 18 minutes, 18 seconds. <laughs> Whoa, what? Yes. You know well, what they say. Just... <laughs> I, I know the game was broken, but God damn. Time to make it more broken. There's, there's one more that I was really impressed by. And when I first saw this on the list, I was like, how in the hell does anyone speedrun this game? Adam AK playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Completed it in one hour, six seconds. I have never seen anyone thoroughly break down and, and otherwise destroy a game like he did. Except for maybe the Sonic 06 guy. <laughs> but basically, he would, like find ways to glitch himself through walls, go out of bounds, and like, jump across and walk on top of parts of the levels to get where he needed to go. He would fall off the level and like, click an exit door as he was falling and it blew my mind. Because unlike Sonic 06, which is just a broken mess, Amnesia's like, a pretty good game. And I thought it was pretty well put together. Apparently not. <laughs> You'd be surprised. There's a lot of people with free time. Yeah, on I almost forgot about the Amnesia run. That was like, wow. 
I didn't stay to watch the whole thing because I still want to go through that game myself. But I did catch some snippets of it. Oh, oh, I just remembered one. Mike Tyson's punch out. The guy playing it blindfolded. Oh, I know that's possible. It's all about the sound cue. And it's patterns. impressive nonetheless, especially considering how oh, totally. far he got in while doing it. Like, did he even get knocked down? Any? He got up until, like... I think he got through the second championship circuit, and then he lost. Oh, but he still pushed through. Well, that was blindfolded. He did the, like, actual run, like, regularly, and was able to knock out Mike Tyson. Guy's so twitchingly fast, you can hardly tell what he telegraphs. You know, it makes me think... Is it possible for like one of these people to actually speedrun, I don't know, a Shin Megami Tensei game? Well, I don't see well, why they're not. Running they've, Final they've Fantasy already speedrun, nine. like, Earthbound. They're doing Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, yeah. Separating it into two parts. Yeah, they're, um, they're speedrunning Final Fantasy IX. I should probably watch that one. They want to see how that's going to work. Well, um... Part one's over. Part two is, I think, the last thing on Saturday. Yes, it is. <laughs> and by the way, if anyone does want to see exactly what we're talking about, their Twitch channel is archiving all of this. So, so if, you want, if you want to see what the, we're talking about, go to twitch.tv slash speeddemosarchives, and you can look through their video section and see everything that they've done from this marathon. Well... We'll provide a link through the YouTube uh, description, the River City Gamers description for the page you're probably viewing this on. And, hell, maybe even Facebook if we do that. Like, every, like, like Scott said, every part will be archived. So even by the time this is up, it'll be over. You can just go back and watch this. I highly implore you to do so. I highly recommend the Awful Games Done Quick segment. Oh god, incredible Just crash for dummies, time cop. why? <laughs> Just for time cop. <laughs> I, this is a quick question. What game would you like to see speedrun that you haven't seen done in this uh, in this whole thing? Is it live or...? Like live, like, if you could like ask for any game to be streamed and be speedrun live, what would you want to see? I wouldn't know. I really... Escape from uh, Bug Island. I'm doing it next year. <laughs> Um, I can think of a few games, but I'll just name one. I want to see them speedrun Waxworks. Of course. Oh. I want to see someone for, uh, speedrun Persona 4 just so I can get to the game a lot faster. You know, I'm only going to suggest this because I beat it recently. Phoenix 3. <laughs> speedrun that. Oh, God. Well, okay, I have one other game I think that should be speed speed run. Um, let's see, what was it called? Um, you kind of have to give me a minute there. Well, while you do that, I got one. Someone speed run 007 racing. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll say no to that, but not fucking Phoenix 3. <laughs> Phoenix 3 I can at least laugh at. <laughs> you couldn't laugh at 007 racing in my drunk driving? <laughs> <laughs> so okay, okay, laugh. point taken. <laughs> okay, I I remember the game. Uh, Star Control Two. Uh, basically, I think Mass I think the Mass Effect series was inspired by this old game. Oh, and speaking uh, of Mass Effect, uh, they did do a Mass Effect speedrun live. How would you guys be active if, if someone were to you know speedrun and try to speedrun an AC Turning game? Will they just like speed through the, all the text and present evidence at two points or whatever? <laughs> I wouldn't be as impressed by that because that's all extremely fixed. Yeah. Like, it's just all dialogue boxes. Yeah, it's like asking him to speed run that Shaq game coming out. Here's a book. Speed we run told. this. <laughs> speed read this. <laughs> that's like uh, speed running the Chobits entirely text based game game. <laughs> <laughs> all in Japanese. Can... Just press A until the game ends. <laughs> game. Yeah, game. We we kind of got a little off the topic, but I think the point is that uh, video games can produce a whole lot of good, and this just goes to prove that. 
and, and we're talking and, and we're mainly just talking about um what it's being funded for just preventing yeah, cancer stop, to stop cancer which is a great cause yeah and we did something similar to this in the past didn't we like there was like God, I we, we, we did we did a charity event for a friend of ours as well oh yeah yeah we didn't have a high donation goal but we still got some donations in and i hope it helped him uh his mother out with that I mean, yes. Yeah. How did that go? I think like, I think it went all right. Eh, we Again? could probably ask him. Yeah, we'll have to catch up with him. Yeah, but, uh, but I also think it's worth noting that there is actually one speedrunner who was part of the stream that is a cancer survivor. Oh, oh my. I forget which one it was. Oh, uh, the dude with the cape. Bless his heart. Uh, I don't even know which one the dude with the cape is. The one who sang the Captain Falcon music. Oh! <laughs> I'm a survivor. Let's say Captain Falcon. He has every fucking right to do that. Yeah. Because he has the right to keep on living. He has the right. To All I just gotta say, it, it's a personal message from, <clears throat> from me. Um, I just want to thank every person part of the awesome games done quick crew all of the guys that's been running the stream i just want to thank them for just running such an an incredible week all for a good cause like i i really hope the prevent cancer um association will take this money and use it the best they can and i know this is just gonna sound dumb but cancer's bad so i think we should get rid of it yeah it's bad <laughs> All right, let's play it's cancer. It's bad. And Hitler was a dork. Yeah. <laughs> but in all serious in seriousness, just kudos to everyone. And biggest kudos to fucking Professor NES. <laughs> <laughs> yes. By giving me the best info that an NES weighs a total of 50 grams. <laughs> oh, come on. He was only off by like 1,200 grams. I don't care. I, I learned a lot that day. <laughs> and it inspired me to fucking continue my college courses. We're <laughs> Americans. We can't be expected to know the metric system. <laughs> and let's not forget to praise the true God. Okay, I, I think we're good. Yeah, I believe that's enough on this subject. Yes, yes. Well, everybody, it's that time again. <gasps> So I'm so is excited. Oh, it's uh, the, the <laughs> Amiria Akago Hour. It's your <laughs> questions. Or question, because we only have one again. That's uh, who it's from. <laughs> then again, I don't even think we have fans. Maybe that's why this like go. Akago! <laughs> Alright. Didn't you, didn't you have him? Like, he was, yeah, he was here last week. Which was a great fill-in. We really appreciate that. Um, but, anyways, uh, what's his question this time? His question is, oh, oh, we're gonna have fun with this one. Unreal. I'm just telling you right now, you are answering this one first. I was expecting this. His question is, do you guys dislike any videos that you yourselves made, and why? Okay, if I'm going first, everything I fucking made. <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> if you want me to reveal, I actually have a few. Did he just say videos in general? Yeah. Okay, I, I have a lot. <laughs> oh, I have a fucking lot. A lot that is pretty much unviewable, as in, I fucking nuked the existence of these videos. Unless somehow you guys find them. But, just let me put it this way. Um. I'll start with uh, reviews. I had a bunch of camcorder reviews before I started a YouTube channel. And if you want the story to get even more retarded, um, these were all uploaded through like MySpace or whatever social network thing was part of back then. You could, you could just tell how bad that sounds just from that description. 
Uh, some of you guys are aware of at least one of the videos, or at least two of them. Uh, just to save your sanity, I won't reference the one I know. You know exactly which one. <laughs> I'll just name the games, though. I did the Dead to Rights 2 demo. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm still sad Slow Beef won't do an LP on the second game, but maybe because that one's really terrible in comparison with the other. Wii Sports, which has the thing Angel, I will forbid him from mentioning, or anyone else. But, ugh, oh god. There's just so much that, in, in terms of just being unable to view anymore, like, you can't find it on the internet, um, th th that's it. But... For still viewable stuff, for the most part, um, review-wise, I kinda, I kind, I'll be honest, I kinda regret Game Party a little bit, and I, I regret it for one particular reason. I, I just wasn't like proud of the quality of it. I felt that it was a pretty low quality review, despite having direct capture, having editing. I just felt like I could have like maybe structured it a bit better and maybe just had it not sound like shit but that was due to me not having a better mic at the time um i regret almost all of my lps i do not like the geist lp i do not like the terminator salvation lp which oh. you guys apparently like for some reason well i do it gives me a good it gives me a good reason not to want to play the game or watch the machinima yeah. I have a review on the fucking game, so there's that. You don't need to watch the LP. And quite recently, there were, well, not not recently, um, probably the only recent LP I finished was Golden My Rogue Agent. I'm starting to regret that as well. This is mainly due to the fact that despite changing things up, uh, like changing format up for, like, being a little more tolerable, I still ended up sounding like a whiny little kid in it. So I do not like that LP either. I tried fixing this with uh, my Indiana Jones LP, but as you can see, there's only been one video of that ever. I have never continued past that point. I know. I mean, I can. I have every reason to continue at this point, but I don't feel like doing it. I, I, I think I've just lost motivation Let's playing in general. I, I know this sounds weird. Like, even Red Faction 2. Another one I was doing that was more something awful, like, as in, like, informative and not whining and just, like, post-commentary stuff. And I haven't done anything past up before, too, because I haven't really put time into it. Uh, and, like, I could go on. There's videos that aren't even reviews or LPs or anything that I think are terrible. A bunch of which I actually delisted. And some of them include, uh, old jokes that should stay dead. And honestly, I think that's my stopping point. I, that's what I regret. Was there anything else to the question, Scott? Like, no, no, no. It's just, wasn't. it's just regret. Okay. Videos you've made that you don't like. Okay. Yeah, e everything I just mentioned, um, that, that, that's, that, that's as far as I would go. I could probably continue and sit and like maybe next week and say, I don't like my Raccoon City review or I don't like my Battleship review. But there are stuff that there are things I have made that I kind of do like, but the ones I mentioned are the ones I had problems with and I wish I did differently. So, um, it, um, I kind of want, um, Shadow or Angela go next because I know next. Scott will be going last. All of that good luck. Well, I wasn't planning to, but I will now. All well, right. you have a lot to say. So. Well, uh, Shadow, okay. go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm on my YouTube channel right now as we speak, so I just... I had to unfortunately refresh my memory. Uh, where do I even begin? Let's, let's just start off with my very first review, which is me reviewing Bleach Dark Souls for DS. Wait, Bleach I made a Dark Souls game? <laughs> It just has the subtitle Dark Souls. It has nothing to do with From Software's awesome game. Bleach, prepare so. to die edition. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That they actually came to me a few days ago. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, God. Um, 
the reason I hate this review so much, it's not just because it's my first review. Well, then again, when you per when you start reviewing, your first review is always going to well, will most likely be your worst review ever. But here's the thing, though, as to reasons why it sucks. The mic's quality is, is terrible. The, the writing in that review is god-awful. And, oh, God... The way I captured, the way I got footage was just the most half-assed way possible. I, I didn't, I actually didn't record my own footage. I just got downloaded footage, whatever, and you know it wasn't poorly constructed. I, I mean, it was poorly constructed and whatnot. It, it just wasn't very well informative and whatnot. I, I didn't think I got the main point across and whatnot. To be honest, if I had to go back, if I wanted to go back to it, I actually would be willing to redo this review. Okay. Going on, going on to my other reviews, uh, I remember doing my first and my last anime review <laughs> <laughs> where I reviewed the second season of Rosario Plus Vampire and I, I, I'm well aware that I used to not shut up about that anime, so, but <laughs> not to talk about the anime itself, but just to talk about what I did in the video in general. I didn't basically, I did not talk about shit in the anime, I just basically like said this and that and just did random stupid shit in that anime, in that video and it's like, ooh. Like, the only thing I actually remembered that was actually pretty funny was just, you know, making one of the characters in, in one particular scene say, sing, like, this was like a running gag where, you know, like the whole rig roll thing where I make one of the guys, like, like lip sync, like, Rick Astley's never gonna give you up or whatever. It, it's really stupid. Lastly, we got... Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge. Oh god, I hate this review. I, I don't want to talk about it. Next. Let's see the Gundam Wing <laughs> review. <laughs> Endless Duel review. It's... Oh god. Just watch the first three... No, don't... You know what? Don't watch it. It's... It's oh, bad. God. It's, it's bad. Let's see. Oh, I did... I did... I ripped off uh, Spunky's 10 second review gag by doing Fear 2 and... 10 seconds. Oh, I fun. did that too with uh, Guitar Hero 3. Yeah, it's if yours were a lot better than mine. I, I mine it. was, uh, I could have said a lot more about that. Let's see. Why the fuck did I LP freaking a Naruto Flash game again? I thought you LP'd that Naruto fan comic that got official art. Uh, no, no, no. Well, that, that's not an LP. That's actually. I know, I'm just joking. But I know okay, the first that. one, okay, the first one I don't regret. Because it was done with, with just me and you know and Tom Dog, which what does he go by again? It's Blind Zero Power Kick, which yes. does not roll off the tongue. Okay, Blind Zero Power Kick, which I did it with him. Um, which the other videos I thought weren't very well edited and very well commented on because, <laughs> you know, for the longest time he's been wanting to get to redo with all that, and I haven't had the motivation to do it. I don't know, maybe we might, but it's. Uh, Kind of been being on a dead horse, if you ask me. Let's see. Oh, stupid meme video. I, I don't need to talk about that. PSA response. Ugh. Oh, this is. Oh yeah. When this is a. Oh yeah, a commentary video where we're, me and Wiz, and, and eventually you came up to commentate on what was a Gantz anime? I think it was called. Right. That yeah. commentary was not very well edited. Now that I look at it. It's a... All I remember is when I came in, my fucking voice lip synced with one of the characters. <laughs> yeah. That's all I remember. Let's see, I have... Now that I look at it, why did I commentate on this really terrible anime called... Uh, what was it? Kodomo New G-Con or whatever? It's a, it's a dumb commentary. Don't bother watching it. Ugh. It's, it's based just... off the fucking pedo thing. Yeah, it, it's just me. It's just... Me, Wiz, and Hitman just ripping on the anime. That's that it could have been done better. Oh god, a bunch of more random videos that I that were unnecessary. My Mortal Kombat Advance review wasn't very well done because I didn't specific that I basically did not tell my point as to why this, this is the worst port of any Mortal Kombat game ever made. Let's see the uh, the 10 second review bleed sh shattered dreams. I didn't. You could barely hear me. See, the Q and A, it's ter. Oh God, my hair and the Q and A is so bad. Just okay. You know what? I'm gonna stop. I pretty much. Yeah, like like I said, I could have gone on forever. So let's try I not. 
okay, you know what? You get the point. I regret all my videos. The only videos I like is the wire rev videos because those were pretty funny, in my opinion. And uh, let's see, I guess my and my newest bit review, Melty Blood. I actually am for once very proud of it. Shadow, is that it for you? Yes. Okay, Angel. Yeah, Angel, you're next. All right. Well. I wouldn't really say there's really any regrets in these videos. Like, yeah, some videos could have been done real much, much better and much better quality than you hoped. But you have to consider other things at the time, like the timing of what you what you did, what you had at the time, what content you had to work with and all that stuff you have to consider. I think regret is a strong word in this regard because that, to me, that kind of implies that you did not have fun with this at all. But really, we all had fun with what we did, at least a little bit, and we all learned from it. We all technology improves. Uh, we've been investing in higher quality equipment as we go, trying to be extra careful with the videos we make, try to avoid whatever errors are possible. So, it's been a very learning experience. And then there's the alone in the dark driving sequence. Ugh, I might as well just leave. I might as well just leave leave it to what was I thinking because that was not a learning experience that was just me being a fucking moron uh, for anyone who wants to know um, don't that's the that's the only time you gotta hear me talk about that the only time um, so excluding that thing I will go along with what I mentioned before there are some older videos that I do believe could have been done a lot better. Uh, believe it or not, my first game review actually was on a, Out of This World for the Super Nintendo, and uh, it was me attempting to be attempting to go on improvising, much like Army 21, and yeah, it didn't go very well. But you see, the thing is, you learn from this. You learn that you just don't understand Adobe Premiere Pro and decided to use Sony Vegas 8. So you upgrade to that, and then you realize you can't run it, so you go to Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> and then I make the Dragon Ball Trilogy video videos. My kind of stuff. Um, but not, not that I'm going to read off the whole list here, but what I'm trying to get at is that you learn as you go on, and at some point in time, I do want to revisit some of the stuff I've already touched on. Do them better, give them, try to do them justice be more elaborate, and definitely be a little more creative, or at least try to be a lot more informal and coherent. I won't say exactly what I plan to cover, but I will say that um, I may have been a little harsh on a certain game, and I wasn't harsh enough on another game. Um, but as for other things, I kind of regret. Um, how I was so monotone in Space Hulk Vengeance of the Blood Angels. Um, I still love that game. And I'm happy to hear that that's actually getting a remake. Um, Doom 64, the footage was way too dark. <laughs> that was me using a Dazzle. Um, I don't think the Apache is going to make things any better because I can't really record anything below a PlayStation. Unless it's on the Wii or something. But nonetheless, um, when you're recording dark footage, don't mess with the brightness too much. It'd be pretty much taking a flashlight straight to your eyeballs. And there were some ones I really enjoyed, some ones that I never finished. Kind of wish I could finish it, but due to how long I have been holding off, holding off from that, I just pretty much decided maybe, maybe I should just hold off for a while and never come back to it. One of those videos was my Killzone 2 review. Now, I remember making this, and Armic would come to me and say, Are you trying to beat me to the punch? <laughs> uh, actually, I wasn't, because I really enjoyed this game so much, I felt like reviewing it. Um, but I just like how I ended it. Now, on to multiplayer. Um, two years later. No, I'm sorry, it's five years later. <laughs> Is that right? And, anyway. Um, and I've also... I've also tried uh, Let's Plays as well. Um, I remember Let's Playing a couple of games in the past that once again were all improvised. Uh, not a good idea, at least for me. 
Um, but I did it. I did finish a couple of Let's Plays. Uh, one of them I was somewhat, well, I shouldn't say exactly proud of, because I was very whiny and very loud in tone. I think that was sort of a thing back then, and I'm kind of glad I didn't learn the hard way that it isn't. But Jurassic Park 3 on Game Boy Advance, Island Attack, I think is what it's called. And I did try to improve and be a lot more tolerable with a couple of LPs I've started on and never finished. Um, one of them was Heart of Darkness, which I had me and a SCR here co commentate. But the reason I never finished it was because um, I would like to say the part of it has to do with timing. Um, I'm not quite sure how to put it in words. So, uh, so skipping through that, uh, there was also mismanagement. I, I'll just say editing footage is going to be your best friend. And part of me wants to redo the whole thing, which I'm sure it'd be a waste of time anyway to just redo the entire LP because we already use up the jokes and just trying to do them again will make it come off as forced. And then I tried uh, the Bana Commando Let's Play with uh, Shadow Snake, which I posted on a forum, but uh, it just didn't seem to work out that much with me in the long run. That in school, college was getting, in both, was getting quite in the way of both of our lives. I've said a couple of times I'd do videos and I never did, but it was around that time, I think shortly after Heart of Darkness or before, I don't remember which, but uh, that I did the Streetwise review. And that one I've been wanting to review for two years. I'm still satisfied with how it came out, although some parts of it were forced. It does seem very weird to see myself with the long hair again. It kind of, it kind of, it's, it's kind of hard to describe that kind of moment. It's like you're looking at yourself back in the past, and it's like, wow, it looked like a really obese whoop that's way too obsessed with Christianity. In other words, I am ungodly. And I know that's completely outdated, but work with me here. And my main gripe with that review was because of how long it went. The only reason it went for as long as it did, which is like, almost an hour and 24 minutes long was because I've been meaning to release that review for two years or finish, I should say. And I never did. And I had so many ideas bottled up at the time. I decided, you know what? Just go with it. Let's make it a four parter. Clock Tower 2, The Struggles Within, or Struggle Within, whatever you want to call it, um, or Ghost Head for foreigners. Um, that one... That one I'm pretty happy with. Some parts that could have been done better, like there were some errors in the video. You might notice like the music kind of drowned out my voice. But nevertheless, I'm kind of proud of that video. It's all a matter of improving as you go. And as long as you're having fun with it, you get some good experiences out of it. You'll probably get some bad experiences, but usually the good outweighs the bad in my case. Um, but nevertheless, it's all about doing what you can, doing what you think is good or would be appealing, and then learn from other mistakes you made. And that I think is what's important when it comes to making videos. Learn as you go. So that's 10 minutes of me rambling. How about you, SCR? Hate. <laughs> Let me tell you how much I've come to hate my videos since I joined YouTube. There are 656 videos on my channel, and more on, on the River City Gamers channel. If the word hate was spoken once, every single tenth of a second of each one of those videos, it wouldn't equal one billionth of the hate I feel for the videos at this micro-instant. For them, hate. HATE. Okay. Uh, bastardized quote aside, uh, I have a bad habit with my videos, which is, I will go through editing it, I will think it's okay, render it, watch it over, think it's okay, upload it to YouTube, three days later, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> because as soon as it uploads and a few comments come in, I go back and I just nitpick the hell out of everything. So, there aren't very many videos that I like that I've uploaded. 
one of the ones that I'm almost kind of satisfied with was the James Bond Jr. one, simply because there's nothing redeemable about that game whatsoever, so I don't feel so bad. And the one uh, mistake that I made in that video with uh, the name of the developer, I don't feel as bad about it because it was two developers that both had the same name. And I just got mixed up on which one it was. But, uh... I'm trying to think of, like, other things that I've done. Uh, we got a Swords Orb. I'm actually still happy with that one and how that turned out. Which, for those of you who don't know what that is, look it up right now, and I hope you don't get seizures very easily. Uh, let's see. As far as, like, video playthroughs of things... I think, like, the only ones I'm really happy with so far are, uh, Kickle Cubicle. Mm, I think the Sky Blazer videos. And so far, I am happy with how Escape from Bug Island is turning out. I've had to edit the living hell out of it, but I'm happy with how the playthrough videos are coming out so far. Especially the next video, but that I'll get into that later. But uh, I think that's about it for me. I really love your reference to I have no mouth, but I must scream. Thank you for spelling it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm serious. I really love that game. Actually, you know what? Since I mentioned my Escape from Bug Island thing, I might as well go ahead and take us into video updates. Yay! Uh, first major update, I am still completely burnt out from Bloody War the Fang. Oh god. I didn't want to look at anything in Japanese after finishing that. And of course, I had to go back to classes like two days after I finished that. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I'm majoring in Japanese, so I have a huge headache right now. <laughs> uh... Yeah, now I have to start working on the next episode of SC On. You know, sticking to my schedule. Bloody War Retrospective, SC On, Bloody War Retrospective, $5 Gaming. Whatever, whatever. And I am uh, recording stuff for the WWE 13 project that I've tied in with River City Gamers. Still expecting to maybe see a preview for that by end of January, beginning of February. Oh, and uh, by the way, by the time this goes up, the next part of Escape from Bug Island will be on the YouTube channel, which... Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, you know, you were there. I know! I'm not saying anything. Because I really don't want to spoil what I saw. It's... It's something else. I'll just say that. And uh, I think that about does it for me. So, Unreal, do you feel like going next, or? Uh, wait, for... Updates. For video updates? Oh, video updates. I got good news for this one. Battleship made progress. Isn't that fucking great? How many weeks have I said it's, you know, there's like, oh, more, and it'll come soon. But now it's like, I have a fucking clear word on the review, and I have a clear fucking goal. It's not delayed? Oh my god. No! Amazingly enough, I finished the script, and just today, of, as of recording, well, before we did everything, um, I filmed all of my live action. I'll just warn that there is going to be inconsistencies in live action footage, but that's entirely my fault, and I can't really do anything about it. It'll just go as inconsistent as that. Um... If then I'm again, right. Shadow Snake had inconsistencies in his uh, new review with uh, the Wii U gamepad turning into a stack of games. You're welcome. Whatever. <laughs> when I did but... the Red Steel video, I film started filming in one apartment that I lived in, and then I moved and I filmed the rest in the other apartment that I lived in. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't notice. Um, so, I have to. All I have to do is, aside from editing, just. Uh, voice over the script I haven't done. Which is simple to do. I just read through the script and the voice through with the mic. Editing will obviously take the longest part. Grant, if I keep at this, expect Battleship to actually be done at least 
before January 22nd. I, I have that as a deadline because that is when my uh, college semester starts up again. So if I can get this bastard. If, if I can get this done um, in time, then it wouldn't really be conflicting. But considering I got a bunch of the annoying stuff out of the way and the rest is just computer work, technically, um, then that's it. So that's the good news. Um, it's not just that, though. I, I actually have a couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, also around the 22nd, starting on that week, Menu Madness will be uh, consistent again, for the most part. As since uh, food places are near uh, my college campus, I could just uh, go and do it and film pretty much after class is done. That's going to happen more. I still don't know what I'm going to cover next. I may do another McDonald's episode because they added a fucking another item, but we'll see. And there's another one that I want to keep um, kind of quiet about. It's a review, but it's it's not what you think it is. What do you guys think it would have been? Neopets the movie. Uh, give me a serious answer. I don't know. I don't know either. You got me on the edge of my seat. I really, really want to know. No, I, I want you to guess. What am I going to review? Um, even if you know the answer, just say it. Let's see. It's not Men in Black Three, right? There is no Men in Black Three. Okay. Um, Deer Three? No. I told you twenty years later. I will. Zumba Fitness. No. <laughs> but someday but no um I'll, I'll just say right now if you were thinking Resident Evil 6 you're wrong uh, uh, just like with uh, other games like RE6 is someday but that's not what I'm um alluding up to it, it's something that you probably haven't seen me do b before um for just reviewing it's gaming related and that's all I'm gonna keep it at and as another thing it may be a two parter that's all. Okay. Um, okay. I was. I'm actually surprised I managed to get the multiplayer review done. Okay. And to be honest, I, I'm actually satisfied with it. I mean, to me, I think it's a subpar video, but it could have been a lot better. You know. But one thing I want to do before college starts next week is I want to do a video, like a last minute video, on the DMC demo. And I, I, I'm like on a time restraint because I, I'm making good progress on it, but at the same time, I have like this doubt that I won't be able to get it done before the game ends. But I will not. I don't want to give up on it because I don't want to make the title card that Deniku made for me go to waste. So I feel like I, I had, I owe it to my, to myself and to her to you know to finish it. So I'll tell you what, even though. I, I'll probably I'll just get the thing done and may not do any more videos for a while because I'm going to probably be focusing on college. But I guess I might as well might as well end it with like the progress. I've done like about like four minutes of editing. I did most of the voice recording. I just need to put all the footage together. But yet the thing I am still stuck on is how to do the how to end it. As far as I'm concerned, this video is just going to be like what like ten like 12 minutes long at most i'm probably not i'm not gonna go into too much detail because this is a demo and not the full game whatever so i really don't have much to cover on and i guess that's about it i well i do have a couple of ideas what videos i would like to do but this is uh this is pretty much all i have going on right now so i'm done okay um didn't i say i was gonna do one video a month <laughs> and you never did. <laughs> Oops! Uh, okay, but to be honest, I have wor been working on a video last month, uh, right before Christmas, actually. Um, now, I did mention last time I had an idea for a video series. Um, a combination of work, procrastination, preparation for college, and procrastination... And more procrastination was this idea of reviewing well 
more like overlooking and discussing different ports and versions of different games. Uh, the next one, I'm immediate. The one that's coming up, I'm honest. Honestly, it's one of those videos that could be done a lot better, but you know, it's a rough draft of what I'm thinking of going with. So when it comes out, I'm hoping, I'm hoping in a couple days when it does come out, I hope people like the idea because I do have a variety of other ideas I want to touch on, which includes a bunch of other games. I won't go into detail about that one. I still got a basic review I need to work on. I've had footage done for for the past uh, couple months now, but it's a PC game and using fraps. Um, 135 gigabytes of space has been taken off, up just for playing through the game alone. So I've been pondering how I was going to convert this footage to save me some hard drive space because I'm going to need that hard drive space. But I finally found a way. It's just that it's going to take quite a long time before I can get it all converted. But hopefully it'll be worth it. I'm either go I'm either thinking of going with this game or going for a Sega Saturn game. Uh, it won't be Rise 2, I'll tell you that. Someone else already did that. <laughs> but it is a Saturn game I've been wanting to review for a while, ever since uh, SCXCR got me a Sega Saturn. Thank you again for that, by the way. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> the timing. <laughs> Don't tell me that's one of your regrets. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm just playing around. But anyway, I have a bunch of other videos planned. I, I think it's because I have so much on my mind is, is because why I'm not going through with what I planned. I, and since college is starting up soon, I really want to buckle down and make a consistent schedule. Um, there is a series of videos I've also wanted to work on, a retrospective, if you will, which, because of my recent procrastination, I may consider uh, making a regular schedule for that. And um, that's about all I have to say for that. The only other thing I can think of is one other type of review series that would focus on Android phones. But what would be the chances of that? Let me tell you, there's not much to say, especially when there, especially when I think about 30 or 40 percent of the gaming library involves just running from start to finish, not even a platform, just run from start to finish. Like the Shaquille O'Neal game coming out, for instance. Yeah, you thought. Yeah, you thought the gaming market being oversaturated by first-person shooters was bad. Well, look again on the phones. <laughs> They're the easiest fucking games to make. Uh, but, but seriously, not to hate on the Android. It does have good games on it, but not to go off topic. That's my video ideas at the moment. Um, a couple of crossover videos are included, but that probably won't be. Ex that probably won't be explored until the later future. Um, I am considering com going back to vlogging again, since there are some topics I want to talk about. Uh, one topic's already outdated, in my opinion, which is sad because I thought about talking about this, but it's probably for the better anyway, since it's on a game I haven't played, but everyone hates, and I hate it too. But uh, that's about it, I'd say. All right, well, I believe that brings this podcast to an end. Just a reminder, since I didn't say it before, if you have a question you want to submit to us, leave it either in a comment on the website or a comment below on the YouTube channel, or you can leave us a question on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash rivercitygamers. Or hell, PM it to us. We don't care. Just send us questions, please. Please. Especially if your name is not Am Amayuro Akago. <laughs> <laughs> no, Akago, we're not banning you from doing this. Don't worry. <laughs> no, people. No, no. You're good people. It's just we need more good people. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is getting depressing, though. But whatever. <laughs> it happens. Uh, maybe in a long, maybe in the future, we'll get a lot more questions. Maybe. Well, I guess I have to look into selling ourselves out then. Ah, <laughs> eh, fuck that. Oh uh, no, well, <laughs> we do have some ideas of what we can do in the future. 
I have an idea of oh, what yeah. we can do. We can end this podcast now. Yeah. I'm yes. SCR. Yes. <laughs> I'm Unreal. I'm Angel Halo. I must apologize for the length. And I'm Detective Shadow Snake. And watch 20 minutes of this get cut all together. And before 20 Shadow. minutes. <laughs> I'm cutting way more than that. Oh boy! This is an independently developed film, so I can't expect it to have like the same capabilities as you know as. Uh, um, uh, did his mic just explode? Uh, <laughs> oops! What does this happen? What? Your mic just like boomed. Shit! Someone's gonna need to do a lot of editing in this one. <laughs>